Good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's 4.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Um, I want to talk to you guys about something that I did not know was going on. And this is these are the kind of things that I like to bring to you guys. Um, May 15th, the Trump administration had serious talks about restarting nuclear tests, uh, testing nuclear weapons, bomb tests, underground bomb tests again, restarting this. Um, for right now, they're not sure if they're going to do it. It's, it sounds like it's, it's on hold. But May 15th, the Trump administration had serious discussions about restarting nuclear tests. Uh, I've talked to you guys before about my feelings, my worries about what might happen as the virus tends to subside with election coming. My fears that the Trump and the Trump administration, the Trump supporters are going to look for uh, vengeance. Um, to me, that falls right in with their, their MO. And, uh, blaming China and, and all this stuff about the virus. And then I see something like this where it, I, I can't believe it's almost like a, a horror movie. I can't believe there. I, here's my question. I, and all the articles I read, I, I couldn't find an answer to it. Oh, uh, why? Um, seriously, other than ratcheting up tensions and aggression, why would you, what would be the, the reason for these tests do we we don't know how they work um my my thoughts my opinions were always that the bomb has been created uh we're pretty sure it works it works good it works a little too good um working on missiles I, i'm not for it but i can understand it um creating just just last month trump was talking about his uh what was it, his super duper missile <laughs> I have to say that. I can't believe he called it that. Super duper missile. Um, yeah, so not only is he looking for a faster way to end the world, but he wants to start testing out the bombs. Um, in 1996, there was the uh, Comprehensive Nuclear Ban Test Ban Treaty, it's something like uh, along those lines. Um, the U.S. for, for the Senate did not pass it or ratify it. Uh, it's been a voluntary thing, from what I, I've seen, a voluntary moratorium. Uh, we all, all these countries agreed on no more testing. Um, so I imagine it's not good for <laughs> uh, planting and blowing up nuclear weapons in the earth. Probably isn't good for anything. People, the earth, the environment, animals, anyone. Um, as far as I can see, the only reason to do this is just to ratchet up tensions. Um, this is one of those things where, where Trump supporters, they love, uh, they, they use the phrase that Trump, their Trump has big balls. Um, and they just love this, um, this warmongering. Um, and that, that's all I see it as. Um, and then of course, of course, if, if, and when we do that, just talking about that, just bringing just the fact that the Trump administration brought this up on May 15th, uh, you can bet that China, China especially, uh, Russia are going to do the same thing. Um, before we even have a, if if it goes forward, they're, they're going to be on the same path. And then what? You know, uh, as we slip back into this this Cold War or whatever you want to call it, or back back to, towards a, a World War Three. Um, it's just one more reason. I think we we need to uh, we, we need to vote Donald Trump out November uh, in November. Um, it's not about conservative or liberal views. It's it's about the survival of the species in the country, as far as I'm concerned. All right, you guys have a good Friday.